Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of SD Locks SCP Readings. This is Shaggy Dreadlocks. Today we are going to be reading SCP-2614. Sometimes I go out and pity for myself. Item number SCP-2614 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-2614 is to be kept in a locked container in the personal office of Dr. Schmidt. Requests to research SCP-2614 must be forwarded to his office. Description SCP-2614 is a DVD copy of the fifth season of the television drama The Sopranos. The disc itself is moderately scratched, consistent with deterioration after heavy use. The object does not bear any marks of origin, although the word bookshelf, written in black marker, obscures the title logo on the top face. When played, SCP-2614 is not anomalous unless an action is performed during a scene where a character is watching the film Redacted. If the play button is pressed on any working remote device, the viewer is granted control of the camera view through the device's directional pad and the center button used for forward movement. The camera is free moving and fully maneuverable. Upon the performance of this action, it is not possible to revert to the previous non-anomalous state without ejecting the object and thoroughly cleaning with isopropyl alcohol. After assuming control of the camera, the show's setting will begin to elapse in real time. As such, characters have been observed to continue interacting after what would normally have been a scene transition. It is not possible to fast forward or rewind. Judging by the apparent in-universe date at the outset, the user would have to wait 3 days and 14 hours and navigate the camera to a strip club known to be frequented by associates of the DeMio family in order to be present for the next chronological broadcast scene. The POV cannot pass through solid objects. If maneuvered out of the Soprano residence, it is theoretically possible to ascend to deep space, although this is not feasible given the rate of travel. The movement of this observational point is not bounded in three dimensions. Recent research has succeeded in navigating the camera to Boston, Massachusetts. It appears that the world depicted contains numerous cities populated by actual individuals. However, despite the show's realism, its own stylistic flourishes and nature as a television show, such as major characters being unusually audible in social settings, continue to be apparent. These, which might be referred to as, quote, meta-anomalies, end quote, are not acknowledged by characters or, quote, bystanders, end quote. The POV itself cannot manipulate the environment, but is capable of entering the settings of other visual media if it is directed to move into an in-universe television or computer screen until the image occupies the entire field of view. From that point, the camera can be navigated into other screens in that setting, and so on, potentially indefinitely. Researchers concede the impossibility of fully mapping these mimetic universes, although efforts are ongoing. Since these mediums can potentially differ radically from their parent universe, such as actors existing as their actual character portrayal, it is possible to enter alternate or unknown media. What follows is a transcript log of mimetic travel and accounts of what can be referred to as extra or supercanonical material. Access Preliminary testing. Universe. The Sopranos. Description. First recorded experiment after discovery of effect. POV directed to a bookshelf in the Sopranos' living room, where a note written in a journal pad is clearly legible. It reads, quote, Art is the emanation of man. Man the emanation of nature. God, the grandfather of art. End quote. Universe. The Sopranos. Description. POV ordered to remain in place at starting point for exactly 10 hours, during which Tony Soprano retires to bed and awakens at 7 a.m. He subsequently becomes agitated at the lack of a brand of orange juice drink in the refrigerator. 
This scene is not present in the show. Universe. The Sopranos. Description. POV is navigated out of the Sopranos residence through an open window in the second floor bathroom. The night sky is cloudy and does not match corresponding meteorological records of that date. POV is able to break cloud cover and move indefinitely upwards if it is so desired. Access. Home universe and alternate property logs. Universe. The Sopranos. Description. POV was placed in Soprano bathroom. Character Tony Soprano observed to have sobbed in shower. This is not mentioned in the original plotline. Universe. The Sopranos. Description. POV moved to the residence of character Christopher Moltisanti, a protege and nephew of Tony Soprano. Character is observed to go on an alcohol binge and shout profanities directed at his uncle. This is not depicted in the original broadcast. Universe. The Wizard of Oz. Description. POV was maneuvered to the local Newark library, where a child was watching the film on a desktop computer. POV traveled east for days before entering what appears to be an outer space void, colored pink and yellow. Universe. Snow White. Description. POV maneuvered from Dorothy character's Kansas home to a private showing of the Disney film in Denver. POV was subsequently directed upwards, and once having gained a sufficient altitude, descended on a continent east of the events of the film. In this continent, researchers discovered a young man in combat with a boar-like creature. It was revealed that the prince's stepmother is a dark sorceress, and had been manipulating the events to ensure the crown for her youngest son. As there are obviously no television sets in this setting, testing was suspended and resumed in home universe. Universe. The Simpsons. Description. Found in home located in Soprano neighborhood. When POV is directed out of Springfield, researchers discovered characters in the style of rival show Family Guy, which has been justified in the crossover event that aired 10 years after initial airing of the anomalous Sopranos episode. The program's respective cartoon physics have been observed to cause considerable environmental and occasionally urban devastation. Universe. The Jetsons. Description. Found in the home of former DeMio family boss, Corrado Soprano. POV was immediately directed to descend beneath the setting's thick atmospheric cloud cover. Researchers discovered what appears to be a 1950s era archetypal American family, referred to as the Jacksons, that live in a wasp suburban community inoculated from the planet's toxic atmosphere. The Jackson family members correspond roughly to the character types in the Jetsons and the Flintstones. Universe. Last Temptation of Christ. Description. Found playing in DeMio family associate Bobby Baclieri's residence. After the final scene, after which a crucified Jesus proclaims, It is done. And the screen flickers to white. The credits did not play. POV was ordered to move forward. As there was no way to gauge movement, researchers were ordered to place an object on the center button overnight. Upon their return, POV was revealed to have been stopped in front of a luminescent female figure. Data expunged. Universe. Goodfellas. Description. POV ordered to inspect the cockpit of a helicopter Ray Liotta's character fears to be the federal authorities. Upon inspection, helicopter pilot revealed to be a civilian. Universe. 2001. A Space Odyssey. Description. Researchers were able to discover a second terrestrial monolith in the ocean, supposedly linked to an Atlantis-like civilization, after entering a researcher character's office and perusing all readable material. Universe. 2001. A Space Odyssey. Description. Above experiment repeated, but POV entered the film during the infamous Star Child sequence. 
POV subsequently unable to move. View appeared to be moving through a vortex of visually distorted nature scenes. Data expunged. Universe. Gladiator. Description. Encountered playing in the home of a character known for his love of the film. When entered, POV traveled to southern Anatok to see the earliest Christian churches. The churches themselves were considerably more elaborate and lavish than their real-world counterparts, typical of Rome's depiction in the actual film. Access. Alternate media log. Universe. Trailer for the film Troy on the Sopranos television set. Description. Following discovery of ability of POV to enter other settings, camera is directed into a movie trailer for the film Troy, during a scene in which Achilles is shouting to inspire his men. The scene continues as if POV had entered the actual film. Universe. Commercial for a brand of laundry detergent. Description. As commercial runtime was 24 seconds, researchers observed a wall or area of white space advancing at a slow rate from the west of the commercial setting. Researchers reported conditions in the city as becoming increasingly violent and chaotic. Researchers have been advised not to enter commercial broadcasts due to distress experienced by apparent inhabitants. Universe MP3 visualization on Windows desktop computer Description POV directed into computer screen playing a Windows Media Music Visualization. Researchers discovered a dark blue void in which it was possible to discern moving waveforms in the distance. It is believed that these other waveforms consist of visualizations being played on other screens. Universe Music Video Description POV directed into computer screen playing a music video depicting artists at an extravagant beach party. Due to the video's stylistic direction, the setting appeared in eclectic colors. POV remained immobile for six hours. Researchers observed the sky turning from greenish teal to yellow-red to a highly unusual dark shade or color called Stygian Blue, which appears as a luminescent dark blue. Axis Nested Mimetic Log Universe Sandman Description Sandman is an exceedingly popular serial drama in the Sopranos universe. Carmela Soprano has been observed to speculate on the show's plot trajectory with friends and acquaintances, although it is never mentioned in the original program. The show follows a reformed cartel enforcer, Jamie Sandman Gutierrez, seeking to relocate his family after his incarceration and inoculate his younger brothers from drug and gang influence. When entered, during a scene in which Jamie Gutierrez's younger brother is seen purchasing methamphetamines in a dilapidated home, researchers discovered a journal pad note near the mattress bed of a heroin addict. The note read, There was no God here. Though I cried, I found his shadow and could not die. Researchers initially believe this to be diegetic, and referring to the squalor of the building. Universe Caroline Caroline Description Caroline Caroline is a popular, long-running television show in the Sandman universe, similar in convention to shows such as The Brady Bunch and I Love Lucy. Caroline is presented as a southern belle who moved to New York after marrying an oil tycoon. When entered at an establishing shot of the titular character's apartment building, the setting appeared to have been uninhabited. Researchers could find no signs of life in either the city itself or upstate New York. Universe Snakebite Description Slasher film found to be playing in abandoned suburban home in the Caroline Caroline setting. Entered during a scene in which the killer, a mentally deranged farmer with fangs, corners the main character in a swamp. Upon entering, both characters turn to look directly at the POV and remain unresponsive from that point forward. All characters have been shown to behave in this way. POV directed out of Bayou, Louisiana into a local movie theater. All persons encountering the camera followed its movement. Universe. Redacted. 
description. Romantic film found to be playing in theater during a scene set in a diner. When entered, diner's lights reverted to a deep red color. All in-universe lighting is affected. City appears uninhabited. Sky is black and devoid of stars, although a dark red glow has been observed on the horizon in all directions. Data expunged. Universe. Static. Description. As all television sets in previous setting were turned to static, researchers opted to enter a screen in a hospital waiting room. Once inside, pressing the center button would resolve the visual snow into an image, as if the POV was moving through a, quote, cloud or field, end quote, of static. POV eventually appears in a brightly lit hallway. See attached file. All directional movement is restricted except for forward travel. As the POV advances, the image becomes more saturated. Data expunged. Data concurrent with pataphysical hypermodel, DMRG. All research personnel are expressly forbidden from repeating above procedure on pain of potential termination. And that is it. Thank you all so much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. You can click that bell for notifications. I should be posting every Monday and Friday. Eh, maybe a bonus post sometime during the week if uh, time works out and I can get to that. Be sure to comment below with any theories or speculation regarding this SCP. Check the description for more from this author as well as further reading. Until next time.